Thank you, Joe Firstman and the guys. The sounds as the music will be out in a little bit. Our first guest tonight plays a sort of creepy character, Dwight Schrute, on the hilarious NBC series The Office. Say hi to the very funny Rain Wilson. Rain. <laughs> Congratulations on The Office. Oh, what a thanks. Show. It yeah. was picked up next season already? Yeah, yeah, we got another That's season. That's fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank God. Right. Apparently, it didn't start out that way, though, because when the show no, first no. started... No, no, I mean, we were on the verge of being canceled, really? like, five or six different times. Absolutely. Wow, I didn't even realize I think, that. I don't know why anyone's watching it. I mean, seriously, it's a bunch of uh, boring, pale people with bad haircuts under, like, jerky cameras and bad lighting. Yeah. You know? Now that you mention it, yeah. But it so, works somehow. Don't watch, America. No, no, no. You have to promote them. Yeah, that's why oh, you're... Oh, watch. Yeah, it, watch. Yeah. Awesome. Much better. The show now couldn't be more popular, and I was, uh, I was online the other day, and the speech that your character Dwight gave in an episode, like two or three episodes ago, you yeah. won an award. It's like one of the most downloaded things now for, like, iPods, this, this speech that you gave. And I want to show a little bit of it, but it doesn't oh, make yeah. sense sort of out of context. Oh, yeah. Okay, so my character, Dwight, uh, who's this ruggedly handsome, uh, virile... We're right. talking about the Got... D Sh Dwight Schrute from the... the oh, the character I play. Yeah. Yes, the so my annoying nerdy character um, <laughs> is uh, giving a uh, speech, because he wins Salesman of the Year, and um, so to prepare him and kind of pull a prank on him, his nemesis, Jim downloads famous fascist speeches uh, from, like, Mussolini and uh, tells him to pound a lot and wave his arms around a lot, but it actually works out in Dwight's favor. It was fantastic, and here's just a little bit of it. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, Steve Carell just seems like a great guy to work with. Oh, and he's, he's also awesome, great man. Show. Steve Carell, for, you know, have you, have you ever met him? Have you ever met yeah. Guy? Yeah. He is, like, he's insanely nice. I mean, literally, you wouldn't want to meet a nicer guy because it would be scary. Because he, I mean, he's... Hard to believe, given uh, Michael, his character on the show is no, such I a know. He, ha he has this, like, weird comic demon inside of him. But you'll have a conversation with him, and you'll be like, uh, so, Steve, what'd you do last night? And he'll be like, well, gosh, um, Nancy and I took the kids, and we had an ice cream parlor night. And, gosh, it was really great. We made uh, banana splits with Annie and Johnny, and we really had a fun time. And they'll be like, OK, and roll camera and action. And he'll be like, hey, blah, 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 blah. what's the difference between a salesman and a saleswoman? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And it just this, it's, it's like, he's, yeah. He's talented. He's like, he's possessed. He just turns you know, it on and on yeah, like that. Yeah, nice but he's guy a suburban right soccer dad. Yeah, you know? he's great. Well, the show is, have you, the play, the office, the whole, yeah. Kind of dull, a dull job to have. Have you yeah. had any? Have you worked in a, a place like The Office? Before? Oh yeah, um, I've had a lot of jobs, a lot of really uh, crazy jobs. Um, I worked in an office once uh, where I was fired. The only office job I had, I was fired from, and it was a major charity in New York City. And I was a struggling actor, and um, and uh, my boss, when he was firing me, I'll never forget this. He he sat me down, and very seriously sat across from me, and he goes, Rain. Um, look, it's not working out. Um, I'm gonna have to let you go because I need someone working for me who, when I say jump, says how long. <laughs> so I, I have never forgotten that. I don't, I don't know what he was That's talking like about. That's like your experience but, um, now on the set. It is I'm a sure. little bit. But I managed to mostly avoid uh, office jobs, but I had a lot of other crazy jobs. I was a raspberry picker and worked in a marine really? parts warehouse. And, yeah, and dog walker and uh, sandwich delivery boy and those are all pretty um, normal. I mean, pretty normal jobs. And I was a I was a clown teacher, and um, but you were a I, clown teacher. I was a clown teacher. What do you mean? You were the you taught people if they came to you and said, "I want to be a clown." Yes. <laughs> that is a great job. I am one of the top clown Does instructors. Does that make you a master clown in the world? I am a master clown. Um, well, I, no, I would go to like I would go no. to schools and like classes. Let's say I came actors. to you and said, "Rain or clown master." Yes. I want like I want to learn how to be a clown. I would say you are not worthy. <laughs> Why? What does it take? You would need to sit outside my dojo for two weeks in the rain. Before I finally acquiesced and said, Carson, I will teach you clowning. Well, can we, can we do it in about two minutes? Yeah, yeah, we can do clowning. <laughs> so, okay, so the key with clowning, clowning, now, again, Carson, 
It's a very uh, by the way, I know nothing about clowning. It's a very so. serious business, okay? This is not the clowning of the giant shoes and the, the squirty bow ties, okay? I'm talking about... What other kind of clowning theater, is I'm there? talking about the ancient tradition of European theater clowns. Okay. Okay, now, it starts with the nose, okay. which is the mask, the portal to the soul. Okay, now, you're gonna have... You're gonna, you're gonna be... You're gonna want... What? You want to go on? That's the clown nose. I just put it on. Yes, but this is the foam nose. These suck. Don't ever use wow, really? the foam noses. What you want is the... What other... That's a squeaky nose. You don't want to go with that. For today, the, the... Who knew that clowning was this particular? Yeah, it's very complicated. We have uh, the uh, the nose right here. So here's what I'm... Oh, look, this is already broken. Oh, uh, the wow, yeah. Um, so well, that's you're okay. a... I'm going to use the squeaky yeah, nose. Yeah, but you do for so the So I'm going to give this to you. Ten. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. All right. Okay. Now... <clears throat> Why would you, you have, to... like, so many noses in your pocket I, on the talk show? I carry them with me everywhere. All right. Um, we are going to put on the... You're going to relax your face. Okay. We are going to breathe. Yeah. Okay, in the wisdom of the cosmos. We're going to okay. put our heads down. We're yeah. going to put on the nose. And then... But before we do this, I want you to think... I want you to think the saddest thing that's ever happened to you. I want okay. You to get in touch with this that. This is a very gay okay. moment until that statement you just said. But now... Let me go there. Okay. Okay. The saddest thing you can think of, person. Okay. okay, ready? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our heads and look out. We're gonna discover the audience. Okay. As if you've never seen this 150 people sitting in front of you before. For the first time, you might be scared of them, you might be attracted to them, might be. I saw them at the 5:30 tape. Paranoia. Oh, okay. Okay, should I put this ready? on now? You ready? Here we go. Should I put it on now? Yeah, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Yeah, fit it around. Okay. You're doing great. Okay. okay. okay sad. Saddest thing. Saddest thing. Think okay. sad thoughts. Okay. Relax your face. We're going to raise our heads and discover the audience in front of us. Okay. One, two, three. Relax the face, Carson. Sadder. Get sadder. Can you please? No, really feel it. Right in there. Really feel it. Let this go. I can't. On a scale of one to ten. Let this go. I need you That's, to be sad. This is where my sad lives, right here. When I go. Okay, then get your sad. On a scale of one to ten, I want it at an eight. Now sad at a nine. Now sad at a ten. Now discover the audience. Discover them. Yes. Good. How is that? Here we are. Okay, Rain Wilson, everybody. I'm about to pass out, I can't breathe. The Office is the fantastic show on NBC Thursdays at 9.30. We'll be right back with the sounds. Let's blow them with it.